Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is George Murichu and uh, such an honor to be able to connect uh, this way. Of course, we've been looking at the title of the video there that you have an assignment. And this is actually part two of what we started off last week. Uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 32. These are the words of Jesus. He says, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And you, when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers and I drew today's title from those last three words strengthen your brothers the reason Simon is being asked to uh, to to think about what lies ahead and to know that it's going to end well is that he has a ministry after the sifting after the time of testing after the trial after the temptations after all those things have happened and of course after the intercession of our Lord on behalf of Peter what we see is that Peter is told after you're turning back strengthen your brothers in other words I have an assignment for you Peter I have I still have work for you to do I am not done with you and this is very significant because when you contrast uh, Simon Peter with Judas, you can see that uh, Simon bounced back, but Judas took things in his own hands. And I'm talking to you perhaps who uh, you might have wrestled, grappled with uh, suicidal issues, thinking of taking life into your own hands. In this day and age where uh, depression rates have really, really increased, it's, it's, it's possible that you've considered, you've contemplated that things can get so, so thick that you want to take things into your own hands. You want to take life into your own hands. I want to encourage you today that the Lord has a ministry for you, just like he had a ministry for Simon. And he said, when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Strengthening is uh, what happens when we edify, we, we build others up. And Simon did this. When we read uh, John chapter 21, we see that uh, actually the Lord said to Simon three times, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And thrice again, the Lord gave to him his ministry, feed my sheep, tend my lambs, feed my flock. The Lord was able to say to Peter, I have work for you on the other side of your testing, on the other side of your trial, I still have an assignment for you. And this is very much in keeping with what I see in uh, Psalms chapter 50, verse 15, which says, Call on me in a day of trouble. I will rescue you and you will honor me. What I see there, the psalmist is saying, the Lord has a ministry for us to honor him, to bring him glory. After we've gone through trouble and the Lord has rescued us, the Lord has delivered us, it shouldn't stop there we should be able to go and strengthen others. And by strengthening others, we're actually going to honor the Lord. I think of many ministries that have been birthed from a place of testing, trial, temptation. Uh, for example, the, uh, I have heard of a pastor who uh, ended up in prison. And in that time of prison, the Lord placed on him a burden to begin a prison outreach, a ministry that uh, reaches out to those who are incarcerated. What is it that uh, the Lord could be saying to you about your assignment based on the tests, the trials, and even the temptations that you've gone through? Perhaps it's mental health issues. The Lord could be calling you to a counseling ministry to strengthen people who are going through dealing with those kinds of issues. Maybe you have actually overcome alcohol addiction. You've gone through a double A, Alcoholics Anonymous, and you're on the other side of the addiction, on the side of victory. Perhaps you could have a ministry to strengthen the brothers, to strengthen those who are still downcast and those ones who are still held captive to addictions and so forth. So I want to remind you in a nutshell that the Lord has an assignment for you. He wants you after turning back to strengthen your brothers. Go ahead and do that. And, and a, a great step would be to strengthen them by passing on this message, sharing this link. And you can also hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when our next video is out. Thanks for watching and God bless you.